We just had a fantastic conversation this evening about networking, both in the real world at, say, for example, networking events and also online. Now, networking is one of the skills that I've actually found quite easy all of my career, but I understand that for a lot of people who don't feel so confident in terms of walking up and introducing themselves, it's actually not uh, that easy or natural. So a couple of really interesting points that I took away from our um, guest this evening, Lisa Butler, the author of Networking Exposed, and Rhys Ferner from Reload Digital Media. Tip number one in terms of a real world or a networking function was find things within the context, within the room to start a conversation with. You know, it could be the room itself, it could be why are you here, what are you hoping to get out of tonight. They're all great icebreaker conversation starters. Another fantastic tip that we heard from Lisa was around how to stand when you're actually in a group. One of the things that women naturally do, for example, is actually huddle and actually stand in a closed group, which makes it really hard to meet new people, whereas men stand in a bit more of an open horseshoe. So she recommended that you just kind of walk up, make the approach and start the conversation. Networking though in the room is one thing, but then how do you maintain those relationships once you've actually left the function? Both of our speakers this evening talked about the value of following up and maintaining uh, those connections and relationships. And how we can do that in today's digital age is using platforms like LinkedIn and Google Plus and my personal favourite Twitter to actually maintain relationships, continue the conversations, but also to continue building profile. One of the top tips that we heard from Reese, though, which is probably something that I had forgotten about, was the importance of making sure that you've got your Google authorship status established. So as you produce new content online, you're actually automatically improving your Google search engine rankings. There were some fantastic other tips um, from a networking perspective. Um, be genuine, be authentic, um, determine why you're attending a particular function or why you're actually hanging out on a particular social network online. If you've got any questions about how to um, do better at your own networking, then by all means, tweet me, um, post a comment below on this video, but just a great reminder tonight about the fact that the fundamentals of networking haven't changed. Networking is all about earning the right to ask a favour, be genuine, build genuine um, connections and relationships, and then, and only then, can you start using them to build your pipeline from a marketing perspective. See you next time.